All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS of Colin Camp back for another video. Before we go any further, we all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. 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 Ba'ashim. 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 Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim Akarkodash. Ba'ashim Akarkodash. The barns the apostle and a great millstone for teaching us from St. Truth according to the Bible more well and peace and blessings to the flesh of the nation of Israel. Take through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. I'm the brother Isaac. Brother Brother <coughs> And moving into the Lord's will and edifying lesson, you know, centered upon, you know, the warning our people of the pending uh the pending destruction that's coming. You know, warning you of the pending destruction, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. That's what the servants of prophets get Ezekiel three and seventeen have been commanded to do because the Lord has set us up as his watchmen. <coughs> In the Yeah, the wall you got it, brother. That's right. So the prophets of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, you know, have been set up, you know, which are the apostles and others, great millstone, the men on down, have been set up, you know, uh, by the Heavenly Father, you know, through Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, to, to be the watchman, you know, to watch for the, and what are we watching for? We're watching for the prophecies, you know, the prophecies that the Heavenly Father, you know, told us that would happen in the in the last days, you know, leading up to our only begotten, uh, His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah's return, <clears throat> such as uh, the, the third woe, you know, the, the Karagma, you know, which is what? This potato chip, you know, this uh, size of a grain of rice, this subthermal device, you know. Uh, that's going to be pushed upon the people in these last days. And, and this this warning that we're giving you is that, you know, these things are going to lead to the end of America, to the other destruction of America. And that's what we're here to give you warning about, telling the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans to repent, to turn back, you know, before this destruction comes. Everybody's going to get that, Jeremiah. Ah, this is Jeremiah, chapter 28. Verse 7, Nevertheless, hear now this word that I speak unto my ears and into the ears of all the people. Verse 8, The prophets that have been before me, then before the of old, prophesied both against many countries mm -hmm. and against great kingdoms of war and of evil that's right so the the prophet jeremiah is telling us to listen up to this you know the true prophets of yahweh by shema and shai are were always set up to prophesy against you know a country against a great kingdom you know you had the prophet jonas he prophesied against nineveh the prophet you know uh moses and aaron when they were on the scene they prophesied against uh egypt you know you had Noah, he prophesied against the known world you see, and condemned it, you know, so what are we doing these times, prophesying, meaning that we're telling you the things that are going to happen before they happen, you know, we're telling you that that war is going to come, there's going to be a war in the streets of America, you know, there's going to be a civil unrest, you know, there's going to be a, a World War Three. you see, there's going to be evils, you know, uh, bad times are only going to increase, there's going to be uh, famines, you know, more uproars of the people, you know, upwards of people that's that's nothing compared to what's coming you know <clears throat> it's a uh, famines it's a uh, pestilence and what's going to lead to a lot of pestilence when all these you know bodies are lying in the streets that's going to cause you know different diseases you know people's immune system being broken down because they haven't eaten you know and they're going to get very sick people are going to get very sick out here you know and different pestilence as well the lord's going to cause different natural disasters to happen and this is what we, the prophets of Yahweh Shema Shah, have been set up to warn our people about. You got it. This is 
Jeremiah 28 verse 9. The prophet which prophesied peace. Yeah. <clears throat> so the prophet, here it is, we're prophesying against America, you know, against this NATO and the EU, this beast system, you know, telling them they're going down. You know, but you got prophets out here that are telling you that Jacob's trouble is not coming, that peace is coming. It says, it says, the prophet that prophesied of peace. Go ahead, brother. Who reads, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, mm -hmm. then shall the prophet be known that the Lord has truly sent him. Then when the word of the prophet come to pass, the word... Of the men of Yahweh by Shema Shai. When that word comes to pass, then our people are going to know that the Lord had truly sent them. Then they're going to know and understand that prophet had been among them. You know, but you know, you want to believe and take heed before that destruction comes. You know, we're warning you of the pain and destruction so you can get right. So you can uh, return and seek the Lord ten times more while you have this uh, grace period. <coughs> You can get the next priest, brothers. This is Isaiah chapter 42, verse 9. Mm -hmm. Behold, the former things are come to pass. Mm -hmm. And new things do I declare. Yep. Before they spring forth, I tell you all. That's right. <clears throat> The former prophecies of us discontinued from our heritage, you know, the Lord, the Lord told us about these things and what they happened. You know, the Lord told us we were going to go cargo slavery, you know, uh, 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 go, go to Egypt again on ships. That, that happened, you know, we were, haul, we were hauled off here into the Americans that we would discontinue from our heritage. These things, you know, all happened in new things is the Heavenly Father declaring in these times. You know, such as the karagma being the, 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 the chip, the potato chip, the subthermal device, you know, World War Three, you know, the uh, the man of sin being revealed, <coughs> the Edomites, who's a so-called white man today. These things are all, you know, being revealed. <coughs> and before the Heavenly Father brings these things in full effect, he has the servants, the prophets go out and tell you these things. You brothers got it. John, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 25. Destruction cometh. And when they shall seek peace, there shall be none. Yeah, so destruction is coming, and our people shall seek peace. They're going to seek, you know, some a peace of mind, you know, some type of safety in that day. <clears throat> And there isn't going to be any. The Heavenly Father isn't going to allow our people to find any peace. Because this is the this is the peace. You know, Yahweh Shai left us with this peace, which is this knowledge, you know, the comforter, right? But they don't want to get down with this. They want to get down with, you know, finding peace, finding uh, tranquility here in America. You know, but the Lord is about to take away the peace from America. He's about to take away their comfortability that the, these Americans have. <clears throat> and he's about to bring destruction upon them. You see? Read it again. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 25. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. You see? There ain't going to be no peace, On, only destruction. You know, only uh, other chaos. You know, <clears throat> let me get that definition for uh, destruction real quick. <clears throat> this is um the definition of destruction. It's like, yeah. It says the action or process of causing so much damage to something that it can no longer exist. Or cannot be uh, repaired. So, you know, the destruction that the Lord, you know, when the Lord starts breaking down this society, you know, all the way to the nuclear missiles, it's, it's for the purpose for this place to never be re repaired again, to never be real uh, 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 built again, to never be inhabited ever again. You know, that that's what the Lord is bringing, you know, uh, uh, he's going to lay this land uh, desolate, you see. You can get Isaiah 13. Hey, 
but if I can uh, chime in on that, Bible Kishore. Yeah, go ahead, brother. You got it. Because um, uh, you looked at the definition of the word destruction, and so did I. And I looked it up in the blue letter Bible. They go back to the Hebrew word, Kwapada, Kwapada, which goes into terror. You know? See, the Lord is about to send a whole bunch of terror out here, man. Even more terror. Come on, come on. Yep, a bunch of terror. <clears throat> That's what the Lord's going to bring. That's right. That's right, bro. <clears throat> yeah. This is all. You got it. This is Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord is coming like a thief. Yeah. 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 You know, you look at that word cruel, it goes into woefully causing pain or harm, you know, so the intent, the Lord's determination is, is going to, is going to be to cause harm, you know, upon the evildoers, you know, start at verse six, Bible can shot, and then jump down to nine. Uh-huh. This is Isaiah 13, verse six. How ye, for the day of the Lord. Yeah, so the destruction that's coming that we're warning you about is coming from Yahweh Bashimel Shai, from the Almighty. You know, in the day of the Lord, that's fastly approaching, that's fastly coming, you know, and it's a very, it's a dark and dreadful day, you know, but those who you know, are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, which is this knowledge, they're going to have, you know, the benefit of abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. That's that covering. We're going to be protected because we know and understand that it's the Lord bringing this destruction. So he has the power to deliver us, you see, and that these things that the Lord, you know, is bringing upon the earth, he's doing these things to, to destroy the wicked, like we're about to read in verse 9. Verse 9, Behold, the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashamah was shot, coming, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. Mm, see, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. <clears throat> Look at this definition of wrath. It goes into extreme anger. So it's basically saying this twice. You know, the Lord's anger, you know, is going to be hot upon you people. You know, he's not going to show any mercy. You know, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna judge you, you know, accordingly according to your works. And a lot of people's works down here have been extremely wicked, you know, and that's why we have this grace period to turn back and repent so we can escape this pending destruction. You got it. To lay the land desolate. Mm-hmm. And he should destroy the sinners that are out of it. That's right. And how is the land going to be laid desolate by thermal nuclear destruction from the concentrated fire that's going to come from the laser beams? You know? And in, in the Lord doing that, he's going to destroy the sinners that are about it. The sinners are going to be left here. You know? Who are the sinners? The sinners are those who are not covered by the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Yahweh Shai. They don't have that doorpost, that blood on the doorpost. You see, so it's time, you know, to repent, to turn back to Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, while we have this grace period and uh, have this opportunity to get right. You ever else got any precepts you want to bring out? Uh, you still want that Zephaniah? Yeah, we can bring that out. Uh, this is uh, Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 14. The great day of the Lord is near. That's right. So the day of the Lord is fastly approaching, you know, it's fastly approaching, you know, and, 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 you know, we're, we're warning you about it, you know, we're telling you, you know, in, in the men of war, these mighty men, these tough guys, they're going to be crying bitterly, you know, in the time, you know, of terror, you know, in the time of war, you know, the mighty men are supposed to, you know, supposed to shine, you know, they're supposed to outshine everyone. 
But they're but they're gonna be crying bitterly. The only ones who are gonna be shining that day are those with the knowledge of Yahweh by Shema because the wisdom and knowledge is what's gonna be the stability of our times. It's what's gonna keep us stable. But the but the mighty men, those without the knowledge of Yahweh by Shema they're gonna be crying. They're gonna be in a pitiful case. You got it, bro. Um, verse fifteen. That day is a day of wrath. A day of trouble and distress. Yeah, a day of a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress. Upon who? Upon the evildoers, upon the wicked, upon two thirds of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and upon you heathens. Look at that word distress, extreme extreme anxiety, sorrow, pain from another uh term. It says our pain. It says uh, extreme anxiety, sorrow, or pain. You know, so our, these people are going to be sorrowing. They're going to be crying. You know, they're going to be in a woe is me spirit. They're going to be down and out. They're not going to see any a uh, way to escape the day of the Lord. Because there ain't no escaping. You know, and you want to get right before these things come upon you. You got it. In Reeves, it says, a day of wasteness and desolation. Mm-hmm. Which in my sword, wasteness goes into destruction. Yeah. Oh. destruction. That's right, and that's gonna be yeah. from that. I'm sorry, that's gonna be from those missiles. That's right. It says a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Yeah, a lot of a lot of anxiety, a lot of woes. You know that mushroom cloud is gonna block out the skies when those nuclear missiles hit. You know, this is what we're here to warn our te people about that, you know, things aren't going to get better. You know, things are only going to get worse. We're living in the last days, you know, where, you know, you have the snowball, you have the, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're coming to the point of no return. You know, things are going to get so bad out here that if you don't got the Lord on your side, you're going to be, you're going to be finished. You know, you might be able to escape through society now, you know, and be able to make a little FRN notes, be able to feed your family, but it's going to get so bad, you're not going to be able to feed your family. You know, you're going to be worrying, there ain't going to be no food in the grocery store, there ain't going to be nothing. You know, there ain't going to be nothing for you people to have, the Lord's going to uh, smite the water, you know, just, just other chaos, you people, only thing you're going to have to eat is, you know, that, that newborn baby you got. Or, or your neighbor, you know? That's cannibalism coming back in a major way. You see? Because of the lack of bread. You know? You got it. Rezone, which is verse 16. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the big city. And against the high towers. Verse 17. And I will bring distress upon men. And they, they should walk like blind men, mm -hmm. because they have sinned against the Lord. That's right. They're going to be in great distress. They're not going to know what to do. Go ahead. And it says, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as the dawn. That's right. So that's how much blood is going to be shed during the day of the Lord. The Lord is going to pour out their blood like dust. You see? And their flesh is done. They're going to be, you know, just laid out in the streets. Ain't nobody going to uh, uh, gather them. You know? It tells you in Jeremiah 25, I believe verse 33, that the slain of the Lord shall be in that day from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. You know? They shall, <clears throat> they shall not be lamented, neither gathered, nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. You know? So that's what's coming. The people are going to be dung upon the ground. Go ahead. Verse 18. It says, Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. Yeah, so your, your money is not going to be able to save you. Everybody's talking about investing. You know, everybody's talking about, you know, creating a uh, generational wealth. You know, these things aren't going to be able to save you. Things are not going to be able to deliver you. The dollar is going to crash. This this uh, fiat currency is going to fail. And the only way you're going to be able to, con to keep your FR and notes or to try to get more is to take that problem. If you do that, you're finished. You got it. And it reads, but the whole land shall be 
plan shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. Those nuclear missiles. Go ahead. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. That's right, a speedy riddance. Look at that word riddance. It says the action of getting rid of a troublesome or unworthy wanted person or thing. You know, so the Lord is going to bring this destruction very speedily, very fast. You know, because these, you know, America is an unwanted thing in the eyes of the Lord when it comes to, you know, what's promoted down here upon the earth. This earth, America promotes nothing but wickedness to the rest of the earth. So the Lord is going to cause a speedy riddance to come upon it. You know, the, you know, so this judgment is coming quick. You know, it's coming speedy, it's coming, you know, it's hastened, you know, it's coming very fast. The time is being shortened. You know, we're already in April of 2022. Just sit back, you know, let that register. You know, brother's got anything to say before we close out? Yeah, you got it. I'm going to start a verse 4 in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 4. It says, And these are the words that the Lord, Yahweh, by Samarasha, both southern and northern kingdom. Go ahead. Verse five. For well, thus says the Lord, Yahweh, by small shot, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not a peace. Yeah, so the prophets of Yah by Shemel Shai, you know, they saw visions, you know, that were not peaceful, you know, that 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 will cause men to tremble, that will cause men to fear. Go ahead. And they and they relate. I'm sorry. And they relate these things back to the people. You got it, brother. Mm -hmm. Verse six. Ask ye now and see whether a man do it to bell with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his own, as a woman in travail? Yep. And, and all faces are turned into pelvis. That's right. That's right. All faces are turned into pelvis because. You know, the, the prophets are seeing a vision of men in great distress, you know, losing that color, you know, great fear is coming upon them, you know. All because the day of Yahweh by Shemal Shai that we are telling you about, you know, things are not going to get, you know, things are not always going to be, you know, like the elder apostle uh, Ricardo like to say, chilling in the shade, uh, drinking lemonade, things are not always going to be like that. You know, so you look at that word pale, it goes in the feeble and in an unimpressive, you know, so their, their, their faces are going to have a look of, you know, feebleness, meaning they're not going to have any power, you know, they're going to be feeble in that day. They're going to like be like a woman who is giving childbirth. She, she has to go through that pain. There ain't no escape in that pain. You know, you can see on her face that she's going through those things. You're going to be able to see the pain on these people's faces. You see? You got it. Verse 7. Alas, for that being great, for that none is like it, and it's even in time of Jacob's trouble, that he should be paid out of it. Yeah, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like a time like none other is coming. You know? A time like nothing other in uh, parallel history. That's how bad things are going to get. Is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Jacob's are your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's a time of your trouble. You know, just because, you know, in the time of ancient Egypt, the Lord delivered the children of Israel. Doesn't mean he's going to do that today in the sense of delivering all of us. He, you know, you read Jude 1 and 5. I will therefore put you in remembrance that you once knew this, that after... The Lord saved the children of Israel. He afterward destroyed them that believe not. So if you don't believe in these times, you're going to be caught up in this time of trouble. Those that are going to be saved out of it, you know, delivered out of it, preserved through the destruction, are just the remnant. Those who are repenting, seeking the Lord uh, ten times more, being of a humble, contrite spirit, you know, seeking the Lord before uh, before it's too late. Everybody's got anything else? That's it, bro. Kind of, well, Lord, Lord, I'm sorry. What are you going to say, Nicole? I said, no, that was it. Kind of, well, Lord's going to be edified. With that, we're going to close out saying, Shalom.